all this random stuff we're getting. But it was only a dollar. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and and one of the most common comments, not really the most common, but a repetitive comment that I've been getting on a lot of my videos recently, especially when I'm like shopping for stuff for my house, organizational stuff, all these videos I've been posting recently. A lot of you guys always say, why didn't you go to the dollar store? Go to the dollar store, go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has that for a dollar. You could have got that for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Obviously I've been to the dollar store before. It's not like I've never heard of it, but it's just not one of my like top places that I always think to go for certain things. I just never really think to check there. So today I am going to be taking your advice and we are going on a Dollar Tree shopping spree. So we're gonna go to a couple different stores. Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, what was the third one? Dollar General. Dollar General. So it's three different types, but I've seen Cause I know like dollar store shopping is like a popular thing on YouTube. There's like a whole community of dollar dollar store shoppers. And I think that the Dollar Tree is like people's favorite and like where you get the most good stuff. But we're gonna go to all three and compare and just see what we can find. Okay guys, first stop is the Dollar General. Your baby's coming too. You gonna get something for your baby? What does your baby need? She needs more bottles. More bottles? Okay, let's see if they have baby doll bottles. This is a fun shopping spree because everything is a dollar, right? So it's like, what's the most you can spend? If you got a hundred things, it's a hundred dollars. Is it really a dollar or is it just like a dollar? I think at certain stores, like at one of them, everything is a dollar. At the other one, not everything is a dollar. Yeah. We're gonna we'll go see. see. Shopping spree! Like the weirdest, most randomest vlog I feel like I've ever done. Oh, look, Halloween stuff. Just light up or something. What is it? A scarecrow. A scarecrow? $2.95 each. Okay, so not everything is a dollar in here. $2, $3. Ooh, pumpkin decor bling bling kit. But it's $3. Dog costumes. Candles for five dollars. That's not really even a good deal. Where are the deals? I know y'all are typing in the comments right now saying, you need to go to Dollar Tree, not Dollar General. Oh, look, they got some cute little farmhouse decor. Like, this is cute. Little stuff to put on your shelves. Oh yeah, but we already have those. How much is it? Sixteen dollars? This is, this is supposed to be the dollar store, not the multiple dollar store. So far, no good deals on Halloween candy. No good deals on home stuff. Oh, here's the toys. What can you get for a dollar? That's what I'm looking for. You can get a Minnie Mouse Frisbee. <laughs> Two Minnie Mouse Frisbees for a dollar. And I got a stuffing toy. Mm -hmm. You can get a stuffed animal for a dollar. Mm. Nope, that's five dollars. You can get a small stuffed animal for a dollar. Look at the little monkey. Are you impressed? No. Okay, no good stuff for a dollar in the toy aisle. What's that? It's a surprise. A surprise? Uh-oh. Pick it up. Party stuff. Oh. Plates for a dollar. I think there's like 16 plates, any color. As of today that we're filming this, I'm actually throwing my friend a basically like a bridal shower bachelorette party little mini party at my house. So maybe I could get some stuff for that. Her colors are dusty rose and burgundy. Like this is cute, these little napkins. Pinkies up, this is kind of pretty. And then you could put something on it with the cricket machine. Yeah. Put their names on it or something. Like you have a little boy's birthday coming up. Yeah, so, but I don't know what the gift is. 
but you just got to get the gift that's not fitting. <laughs> that's kind of backwards. Look at this. This is cute. This is really cute. That is cute. Boy or girl. Let's get this. Okay, careful, Zai. You gotta watch where you're pushing. Here you go, for your llama office. Save the drama for your llama notepad. <laughs> you can get some toothpaste, some soap, some mouthwash, a whole manicure kit for a dollar. This is good. Do they have them for a dollar? Cause that's the rule. Wait till we go to the other store. Oh, don't drop her stuff. She doesn't want it anymore. Oh, okay. Why she don't want her skirt anymore? Because she doesn't like purple. Oh, she doesn't like purple. Okay, I think we're done in Dollar General. We got some stuff in our basket. Yes. I'm gonna get a um a rattle for my baby doll. A what? A sticky rattle. A rattle. Okay. Well, we didn't really see any good baby doll toys here, so we're gonna head to the next store, which is dollar family dollar we're going to family dollar next but we got some stuff here so we're going to check out and then head to the next store okay so we got two bags we got like some gift gift bag stuff and then we got Zai the little witch's cauldron and i spent a total of ten dollars it was probably like nine items because then plus tax we just pulled up to family dollar so we are going to compare dollar general which really didn't have great prices because everything was like five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars to family dollar they had toys, but they didn't have good deals on the toys. So we're gonna check out Family Dollar, see how it compares, and then lastly, we'll go to Dollar Tree, which I think we all know is gonna be the best. Okay, Family Dollar, what you got, what you got, what you got? Oh, costumes, $5. That's not a bad costume for $5, though. Actually kind of cute. Okay, she's trapping up the, the baby. baby up. Where's her skirt? In my purse. They don't have any bags of candy for $1. Everything is five dollars or three dollars. Oh, Zaya, your socks three dollars, three dollars. They're cheaper at Walmart. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's less than a dollar a pair. Pillows. Oh, look at this. We should do a dollar store fashion video. Like, this looks like Vans stuff. It's a good hoodie. I'd wear that. A fuzzy jacket. I'd wear that. Uggs, sparkly shoes. Ooh, I'd wear this. How much is it? Oh, these are like real baby socks. These are two T through, oh no, this is your size. Two T through four T. For a one year old. Are you a one year old? How old are you? Okay, let's see what else they have. Makeup, jewelry organizers, five dollars, three dollars, nothing for an actual dollar. Maybe you're taking the term dollar store too literally. No. Maybe dollar meant a few dollars. Now these are good. Well, these are about six dollars. <laughs> so far, it's the same price, if not more, than like Walmart or Target for a lot of stuff that I've seen. So. Oh, Zion needs these hairballs for a dollar. They got rubber bands for a dollar and bobby pins for a dollar. That's a good price. Need some headbands? Yeah, why not? A dollar. <laughs> Splurge a little. I'm gonna get two. <laughs> they have rat tail combs for a dollar. Low key need one of these. Or you can get two pack for two dollars. Same thing. Oops. Why are you getting the baby naked? Okay, well go put it in my purse. They got all the major brands in here, so if you were just coming here for convenience, because it was by your house, you, they got everything in here. Cantu, Carol's Eco, daughter. Carol's Daughter, Olive Oil. They got a better selection of like the ethnic brands in here than definitely Target and stuff. Are you pushing it? Push it. Watch where you're going. Oh, somebody found the toys. 
but we can only get things that cost one dollar so you have to look for number one see how this says number five oh that's what you wanted though for your baby doll huh bottles and diapers but it's five dollars let's see what we can get for one dollar you just left the basket over here put my whole purse in it okay well how many items are in here two bottles and two diapers four pieces for five dollars i mean it's not a bad price almost a dollar a piece Maybe I'll let you bust the budget and get this. They don't have anything for a dollar in the toy aisle. What is that? A sippy cup and a potty and a passy in the bottle. And it all comes in a bathtub for five dollars? That's a lot of things for five dollars. Wow. So which one do you want to get that or do you want to get the other thing? You have to pick one. This. You want this one instead? You sure? You don't want the bathtub? Let that baby have both them little cheap five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> says this the spoiling grandma says let, let her get both. Have two things. She needed a bathtub. She was needing a bathtub. Which one do you want? Do you don't want this? You don't want it? She wants this. Okay, you don't want the bathtub? You don't want it now? <laughs> Grammy wants the bathtub for herself. What's your baby going baby? <laughs> she doesn't want it. Put it back. We okay. still have one more store to go to anyway. Okay. okay. They've got some good Halloween stuff in here too. Not really any good candy deals though. We can get like one lollipop. Oh, two for a dollar. Two lollipops for a dollar. We got some Christmas candy out. Okay, so at Family Dollar, I got seven items but one of them was a pack of socks and one of them was a pack of toys the socks are four dollars the toys are five dollars everything else was one dollar my total was fifteen dollars and sixteen cents and now we're gonna head to the last store which is the dollar tree which is the one that i've heard the most good things about so hopefully we'll be able to find some good stuff there you like your bottle that was a good find that was exactly what you wanted and it came with more diapers Cause that little diaper that you got on her getting a little saggy. Making a pit stop. I ordered you a mango nada. Ooh. And I got me an elote. What's in there? And I got us some mini tacos to share. Turn up. Oh, Look at this mango nada. This is my corn right here. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Oh, oh it's got cheese on it. <laughs> <laughs> You try to kill me? <laughs> I can kick it off. What you want? You want some? I'm having a bad hair day, so don't judge me. And if I have tahini stuck in my teeth, don't judge me either. But we just pulled up to the Dollar Tree, the last and final stop. Just take that with you. Can I have one? Is it still warm? Oop. Look, see, everything's a dollar. This is the one where everything's a dollar. So they actually have bags of candy. Sm uh, what is this? Smarties? But everything's actually a dollar. They got candy bags. They got Christmas decorations. They got Christmas sunglasses. <laughs> Now I see why everybody says Dollar Tree is the best. I've only barely walked in here. I mean, I've been here before, but like now that I've compared them back to back, uh, what was the first one? Dollar General, Family Dollar, and then coming to Dollar Tree back to back, you can immediately see that Dollar Tree is the best. They do have cute little glittery ornaments. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing for it. Probably gold, if I'm being honest. Oh, here's some cute Christmas crafts. This is cute for Zaya to do. Make a snowman and a Christmas tree. Let's get both of those. Color a bag. <laughs> That's random. Paint and ornament. Bows for your presents. We don't even have ooh. Halloween in here anymore. <laughs> she says, ooh, to the pins. <laughs> and everything is in budget here because everything is a dollar. 
you can get whatever you want. This is my kind of shopping. Cheap and pointless. <laughs> what do you say? Look at those rainbow colors. Rainbow ones. Oh, wow. But look over here, this is your stuff, Zaya. This is wow. the, like a lot of good homeschool stuff. I bought stuff from this section before. I showed in one of my other vlogs, like these books and stuff. Shapes and sizes, alphabet. What number is that? Three. Oh, what number is that? Eight. Eight, okay. Dude, I know my numbers, Grammy, come on okay, now. Find one you might not Put some respect on my name. You know this number right here? Okay. <laughs> she knows the numbers. Flashcards. I got some flashcards from here already, so I might have some of these already, but. But you have multiplication and subtraction. Multiplication? She already knows her numbers. <laughs> Look at these stickers, Aya. We need markers for my house because she lost all of my markers. Oh, those are good. But that's, I'm always running out of boxes at Christmas time. Wow. What is that? Do you know what animal that is? A reindeer? Careful. All your typical snacks, pretzels, peanuts, chips, gourmet popping corn, trail mix, tortilla chips, Cheetos, juice box, ooh, Kool-Aid jammers. I haven't had these in a long time. This, you get a six pack for a dollar? I'm getting these. This is my, not my childhood. I only ever had these at my grandma's house <laughs> over the summer because my mom <laughs> never let us buy what she calls foolishness. <laughs> which is anything fun and sweet at the store. We weren't allowed to have like, you know, sweet cereal, candy cookies, cheeto, like nothing like this. So I would only get this at my grandma's house. What is this? Enticingly easy I don't sure. dessert mixes. You just add egg and milk and then fry it. Let's try this. Okay, I'm getting the Kool-Aid jammers. They got Tupperware, good Tupperware selection. Coffee mugs. I use these a lot. We've got little mugs and stuff. This is cute. You could do a, a DIY with this. If you were making mugs, this would be a good place to get plain mugs if you were making something. So for this bachelorette thing that I'm throwing, part of what I'm doing is a hot chocolate bar, hot chocolate station. So I think if we get these plain mugs and like personalize them for each guest, that would be cute. Well, so far we definitely have already gotten way more stuff at this but I need store to than the rest of the stores. My mom found a good deal on on rubber gloves. <laughs> Toy section, but everything is actually a dollar. What oh, look at little, little ponies. <laughs> no. Jump rope. Size too little for jump rope. Oh, look, little Barbie sets. Cute. You want one of these? A baby? A Barbie baby? Here's your brown one. <laughs> Don't you already have one of these? I recognize this dress. Look at a little Barbie puppy. They've got, yeah, much bigger party selection than the other stores. And they have everything the cups, the necklaces, the plates, the invitation. You can do a whole baby shower for like seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Zaya's next birthday, dollar store birthday challenge. Yes. Look at these little press-on nails. <laughs> They're so tiny. Nails Zaya's nails, look up, those are her nail size. Let me see, let me see your fingers. Is that your size? <laughs> you wanna try them? Oh, they got elf. 
They only have like one elf product though. They should have a lot more elf stuff because a lot of elf stuff is a dollar. Oh, glittery. Two polishes for a dollar? Now we're just getting ridiculous. Okay. Putting random stuff in the cart. I mean, I guess that's the point of this whole video, but magic towel. Here. Soak in warm water and watch them grow. All this random stuff we're getting. But it was only a dollar. Are we getting this? No, what is that? <laughs> okay, so it is the same day. It's just nighttime now, and I took a break to film some totally different beauty content. That's why I have a full face of makeup on now. Zaya took a nap after we got home from all three dollar stores, so ignore her fuzzy hair and she this, um, but I wanted to do like a final haul of everything that we got and compare and contrast the different stores. First place we went, as you saw, was the Dollar General. We got two little bags worth of stuff. I think I spent about $10 there. And the main good things that we were able to find there are like gift bag type stuff, which you can find gift bags and stuff at all three of these stores and Dollar Tree honestly had the best selection, but at Dollar General, they did have like some specific, like really cute ones like this pink marbly one, which is super cute and like different. So I got these gift bags, I got tissue paper to go with it. So I was able to find some good stuff for a dollar at Dollar General, but they just didn't have like a huge selection. So Dollar General, I would give it like, Two out of five stars. Next, we went to Family Dollar. I think we only got one bag of stuff at Family Dollar. Yeah, so we spent about $15. And Family Dollar, that was the spot that we got Zaya's little baby doll thing. So she already opened it, but this is where she got those two bottles and the diapers, and she really likes that. She's been playing with it all day since we got it. Um, but that was like $4, it wasn't a dollar. They had like cute baby doll stuff, they had cute little toys specifically at Family Dollar, but they weren't a dollar. They were like $4, $5, $8, which still isn't bad. And they did have some really cute stuff. Yeah, that one was five. It has five on it. Good job, Zaya. So then I got Zaya some socks there. And then the main thing that we got from Family Dollar is a whole bunch of hair accessories, headbands, ponytail holders, a comb, more ponytail holders. So we were able to get a lot of uh, hair stuff for a dollar, which was decent. So I would say for family dollar, if you want like cute little cheap toys, it's a good place to go, but just know that it's gonna be like five through $20. Um, so if you have a little bit of a bigger budget, you can go to family dollar, but I would give family dollar like Probably like two out of five stars as well. Maybe three if you have a bigger budget. Now, at Dollar Tree, the last place we went, which I already knew because I had seen online and just from my own experience that Dollar Tree is the best because number one, Dollar Tree is an actual dollar store. Everything there is actually a dollar. Everything in the store is one dollar. So you don't have to hunt around for like what's a dollar and what's not. And it was the biggest, most, most abundant store out of all the ones we went to. They just had the most stuff. So what did we get, Zaya? Can you show me? Take something out. What's that? Got a little dolly. You got a little dolly for a dollar. With a little dress on. A little dress on, and what else? Some stickers. Really good stickers. The so Dollar Tree had a really good like school office supply section, so we got Stickers, we got, oh, I thought these were the flashcards. We got four big bags of stuff at Dollar Tree and I spent, how much did I spend? I think it was like almost $50 because we got so much stuff. We got the little tiny baby Barbie. Oh yeah, the little baby Barbie. So Zaya was spoiled just in general today, but especially at Dollar Tree because everything was a dollar. So I was letting her get more stuff. So she got a little dolly. She got a Barbie baby doll. She got stickers, she got this paint, paint with water set, the little tiny nails, mm -hmm. fake nails. Yeah, they fit you perfectly. Um, got her some educational stuff, some addition flashcards. Got her some dress up necklaces for a dollar. Got her a magic towel, whatever that is. More hair accessories, they did have a lot of good hair accessories there as well, so we got some cute ones there. Wow. It's like a princess one. Wow. Like I said, in the good homeschool section, so we got her two of these educational little activity books, 
My mom got herself some highlighters because she needed those for her office, as well as some latex gloves that she needed for some reason. And then I also got Zaya these little sets of nail polish, which I thought were really cute because they come with the solid color and the matching like glitter color. So two nail polishes for a dollar, can't beat that. Oh, this little princess mirror, more hair bows, hair clips. And then they had really cute Christmas like DIY stuff. So this is like how you can like decorate a snowman for Zaya to do and to decorate a Christmas tree. And it comes with like all the little decorations that you need. More hair bows, a little fishy bathtub scrubber. So they honestly have tons of stuff for kids. Like if you have little kids, Dollar Tree is your place to go because hair stuff, nail polishes, toys, educational stuff, arts and crafts. Like they had tons of arts and crafts stuff. Like, I was surprised about that. Can we get the clappy hand? Oh, you got the clappy hand? Let me show you got that. And then I got some Kool-Aid jammers. Six Kool-Aid jammers for a dollar. Zaya also wanted these uh, reindeer things. They had a lot, a lot, a lot of Christmas decorations and stuff, as y'all saw. I got Christmas ornaments for a dollar. And then I also got some batteries, which these are not like the regular, they're not like Duracell, they're not, What's well, like the typical batteries besides like Duracell? I can't think of the other brand. They're not like a normal brand, they're Sunbeam. So I feel like they're probably not as good quality, like these batteries probably don't last as long as the other types of batteries, but I mean, hey, six batteries for a dollar, I'll take it. And then we got four of these plain white mugs because I'm gonna use them for um, the party that I'm hosting, like I said earlier. So that was a really good, useful find as well. So clearly we got the most stuff at Dollar Tree, found the most variety of stuff, most stuff that we actually needed could actually use. Dollar Tree was just by far the best in terms of, like I said, the stock and everything was actually a dollar, whereas at the other stores, it wasn't. So all in all, my conclusion is that obviously dollar stores are awesome. I mean, I already knew that. It's not like this is my first time going to a dollar dollar store in general or first time going to Dollar Tree. But like I said, it's just not really a place that I think to go. Like when I'm doing my DIY projects, when I'm doing stuff around the house, I don't really think to go to Dollar Tree to get like arts and craft supplies or anything like that. So now I know, I believe y'all now. Y'all have been commenting, y'all have been telling me for a while that I need to go to Dollar Tree more often for a lot of the supplies that I'm getting. I've compared all the stores for myself. I would definitely rate Dollar Tree like five out of five stars. If the other ones are like two out of five, Dollar Tree is definitely five out of five. Definitely for DIY supplies, arts and crafts supplies, party supplies, definitely party supplies because they are way overpriced at Party City and stuff like that and Target is super overpriced compared to all the party stuff you can get at the Dollar Tree. So definitely next time I have a party, I'm going to Dollar Tree. Next time I'm doing a DIY project, I'm going to Dollar Tree. I mean, you guys know I'm obsessed with Target. Target is my favorite store. Lately I've been getting into Walmart a little bit more, but you know, Dollar Tree, I might become a Dollar Tree mom. Watch out. Watch out now, Dollar Tree girls! I'm coming for you. <laughs> Cause like I said, the whole Dollar Tree thing—it is—it's like a—it's like a—it's like a—I like don't want to say a cult, but it's like a thing. If you guys have not fallen into the Dollar Tree rabbit hole online, it's literally like a thing. And now that I've taken a full day to en engulf myself in the world of Dollar Store, I kind of understand. I kind of understand the thing, and I feel like I'm about to join the. Thing. <laughs> so I think I am going to enjoy my dollar store snacks and Zaya is going to enjoy her dollar store toys that she got. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Say bye Zaya, bye. Bye. bye.